In this lesson, we will teach you when Fibonacci lines will hold or break. When the price reaches Fibonacci, simply analyze the location of the small trigger relative to the Fibonacci line. Triggers not beyond Fibonacci lines will tell you that the market may stop going up. After the trigger lines cross down or roll over you can then take trades per the next gen rules. When the price reaches blue Fibonacci support and the trigger is below it, the blue Fibonacci may turn red. If not, wait until the trigger line rolls up and is located above the blue Fibonacci. If rules are true, you may now take long trades up to red Fibonacci resistance. As the price reaches and exceeds a red Fibonacci resistance, you must wait until the trigger lines roll down and are physically located below the red Fibonacci resistance line. Now you can anticipate the Fibonacci resistance will hold giving you the ability to confidently execute next-gen's trading rules to go short. A fast-moving market will sometimes break Fibonacci support, this will be apparent by the location of the trigger lines below the line. The Fibonacci will change state from blue support to red resistance. At this time, you can anticipate the trend down to continue. Accurately reading Fibonacci and trigger lines will give you the confidence to execute trend trades. You may see many trend trades in one direction before the price reaches blue Fibonacci support. When reading any next-gen indicator such as the midband, the location of the trigger lines will tell you if it may hold or break. Triggers above the magenta-colored midband suggest it may break. When triggers cross down and turn red, you will anticipate the midband area of resistance will continue the downtrend. You will be able to accurately read any next-gen indicator by using the same trigger line location method. The mid-band will be an entry area for many of your trend trades. Reading the trigger line direction and location relative to the mid-band will be essential for executing winning trades. Accurately reading the trigger line location will assist you in choosing to exit your trade or hold on until the market has reached a blue Fibonacci target. At which time, you will start the process of evaluating the Fibonacci and trigger line location. Then, you can execute long trades after the trigger lines have crossed up, making sure to check that the trigger lines are located above the blue Fibonacci support line. Now that you understand the Fibonacci and trigger line relationship, we will move on to a longer time frame chart. The 13-2 dynamic Renko chart will be an essential item in your Fibonacci and trigger line analysis. You want to make sure you train your attention to the current price and not the entire chart. Yellow 1 to 1 dots are another Fibonacci level at which you will need to pay attention to your small trigger lines. When the triggers are past the yellow dots, wait until the trigger lines cross down. You can now take short trades per the next gen rules until the price reaches Fibonacci support. As always, when the trigger lines are strong, a Fibonacci area may break. The breakout will be apparent when the trigger lines are located well below Fibonacci. You will then be able to confidently trade the continuation of the downtrend after the next-gen trend trade rules are valid. When you study the trend trade rules, rule number one says the chart must have strong trigger lines. When you see this look, you will be able to confidently and accurately execute next-gen's trend trade rules until the price reaches a Fibonacci target. At Fibonacci support, analyze the trigger line location. If it is not below the blue Fibonacci line, you must stop taking short trend trades. Trend trade rule number two states, the market must not have reached a termination condition and Fibonacci support with trigger lines not below the blue line is a termination condition. The second trade you will learn is an HVA trade. Rule number one for the HVA trade states that the market must have a termination condition before trading in the opposite direction. The Fibonacci areas create a framework of support and resistance. You are using that framework to trade to and from the Fibonacci areas while applying NextGen's time-tested trading rules. Accurate Fibonacci levels have significant financial implications for your bottom line. As the market trends up, you will clearly see that the trigger line location suggests the trend will continue beyond the mid-band in one-to-ones. Strong trigger line looks are when you look to trade pullbacks using NextGen's trend trade rules. In this example, there are multiple trend trades long. While the trigger lines on the 13-2 chart are favorable, trend trade rules are executed using the 5-1 dynamic Renko chart. Finally, the market reached the red Fibonacci resistance target. 
you will now wait for the trigger lines to cross down or for the Fibonacci resistance to break. Please use this lesson to study the historical Fibonacci and trigger line areas to enhance your technical analysis skills and build confidence in your ability to read Fibonacci and trigger lines. Thank you for choosing NextGen for your Fibonacci analysis.